Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is about the Wet n Wild trios. They look like this. Color icon trios. Um, I have five of them here. And then I have one of the Wet n Wild color icon um, five set things. I don't know what you call that. Quintuplet? Not a trio? I don't know. Whatever. So uh, let's just dig right in. I want to talk uh, about the quality of the pigment, the um, the wear on these. I'm, I'm thinking about putting them on. I didn't put any eyeshadow on them for that reason, but um, I think I will maybe spread that out to a separate tutorial. But um, um, go over the different colors, maybe some swatches, and then let me know down below if there are any of these in particular that you want to see um, done in a tutorial or something, or want to know more info about them, and I will let you know. So the cool thing about these is it comes with, I'll just take them out, it comes with a regular eyeshadow applicator, which I don't know many people that actually use these, but it also comes with a brush, which I thought was really unique. I mean, they're tiny, they're itty bitty, but really unique for drugstore shadows. These are $2.99 at, um, at CVS, and the one with five shadows is $3.99. And they also say on them, eyelid, oops, eyelid crease brow bone. So they make it pretty clear. Now, some of their color choices for uh, things make me kind of laugh, but maybe you'll laugh with me, maybe not. Um, so I'm just gonna swatch each of them on my arm. This is the Sweet as Candy trio, and it's got a, a nice baby pink, um, and then it has a taupey brown for the crease, and a white for the brow bone. So I think that's a really nice combination. I could definitely see a lot of skin tones being able to pull that off. They don't feel powdery. This one is not shimmery at all. They actually feel really smooth. They don't feel like shadows that were two bucks. I got the 25% off and I always use coupons at CVS. So $2.99, I think I paid about two bucks for them. Not bad. The next trio is Silent Treatment and it has a gray-ish purple, a uh, black that's shimmery and a brow bone color that's slightly pink. So let me go ahead and swatch those. The eyelid colors, this taupey color, it's actually really pretty. I'm not gonna say I'm surprised, but... Okay, so I wanna show you the black. Do you see how it was kinda streaky? I'm gonna do a second, a second swatch, but yeah, the black is not that easy to work with. I feel like for beginners, that would maybe not be the best color. And then the brow bone is a really pale pink. It's actually not even visible but I think it's really um, different I don't know that I recommend this for beginners because the first one definitely sweet as candy totally but this one has a shimmery crease color which is not recommended it's hard to blend that black color and then pink on the brow bone can go either way and I feel like that's very specific to each skin type skin tone like pink on me on my brow bone might look a little crazy, but if you're naturally pink and that's your undertone, maybe it would look natural. So for a beginner, I wouldn't recommend that. All right, this one is called I'm Getting Sunburned. Yeah, that's what it's called. So it's got the goldish color, a shimmery crease color, and then the brow bone is purple. Yeah, that's what I said, purple. So let's see, maybe I'll do it on the other hand. So here is the brow bone color and again this has that curse of the this one's actually easier to blend these don't say individual names for the shades they just have a name for the trio so if that explains now I'm trying to get this goldish color to like really pop but it's not that easy so it's on my closer to my thumb it's not so easy to get it to pop but that blackish brown color actually popped a lot better and the highlight color while it looks very very pink in the trio is not too pink like I think I mean I don't think I'd wear it as a that crease color but I think it'd be gorgeous on the lid so with some purple in the eye gorgeous um I have two more of those so now this one I want you to notice is very similar to the first one we went over sweetest candy um, I'm gonna put the two next to each other try not to drop all these stupid applicators that I never will use so this one is sweetest candy and this one is walking on eggshells now Maybe on camera they're not exactly the same, but the brow bone colors are almost identical. The crease colors, this one's just a little bit warmer. And the eyelid color, this one is a pinky toned beige, but this one's just a little bit more pink. So that helps, I don't know. Um, so this is 
walking on eggshells. This is like the most popular one. Emily Noel, um, 83 on YouTube. She really likes these two. I love her channel. If you're not subscribed to her, you totally should. Um, and there is the eyelid color, the crease color, and the brow bone. So this one's very famous for the pigmentation and everything. Eyelid color, crease color, and the brow bone. I feel like this would be very pretty on people who are beginners. Somebody who is a little hesitant to go crazy on the eye makeup. There's no shimmer. The colors are very natural and easy to wear. This would be great for traveling. You could achieve a very normal everyday look with this. I don't think I'd go like, you know, crazy with the nighttime look, but it's definitely wearable. The next one and the last of this type is the trio called Don't Steal My Thunder. And that is the grays and blacks. So the silver, actually. So this one's very different. It's, I think you could get a very pretty nighttime look with it. It's got a very pigmented black, but the black has shimmer. And then a nice white for the highlight. So those are the three colors. I don't know if you can see them, but um, the shimmer on that is not that noticeable, but I think that they're really pretty. Um, I don't, I, I'm not a rule follower, <laughs> if you know me in makeup, so I like to like do my own thing. So I would have these five out and I would just pick the eyelid color I wanted, pick the crease color out of all these and pick the brow bone color I wanted. I don't follow the rules, but if you're going to buy just one and you're not to so comfortable with um, your, you know, colors. I would definitely go with Sweet as Candy or, um, Walk on Eggshells. I think these two, but you don't need both. Like, see how similar they are? You really don't need both. Um, and then the last but not least, this five color is The Naked Truth. And so it's got a bunch of neutrals. I think I like this one the best. The only thing I don't like about this one is that the crease color, again, has shimmer. So that bottom color has some shimmer in it. Now, is it super noticeable? No. But what I like is they, they have different things on here. So they have base, brow bone, definer, eyelid, and crease written on the shadow. So you really can't mess that up. So this is the, uh, I don't want to put it somewhere else. Let's see. This is the all over. They just say to put this color, and you can't even see it, all over your lid. And then you're going to put as a base. Then you're gonna put this all over your lid. I layered them on purpose, so they're um, pretty normal looking. And then I'm gonna put something in the crease. That's that brown color layered right with it. So the brown is closer to here. I think that's really pretty. You put this definer color in the outer V. So I just did a splotch of that. And then you have a brown brow bone color, which is really pretty. So I think that this is a dollar extra. Those are $2.99. This is $3.99. I think that the $3.99 might be worth it if you want to achieve a variety of looks. Um, I really wish that there was a different crease color. Like this one has no shimmer, but it would be flattering on a lot of skin tones. If they had done that for this crease color, I would say this is definitely the winner. But um, I feel like these are a really good value and that the quality of the pigments are pretty exciting Like to see at a drugstore product. I highly recommend them. I'm really glad that I bought them and I will be using them in some looks coming up. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.